This uh, technique, which I'm going to out outline for you, and you'll never want for wealth all the days of your life, for it is the master key to wealth. The first step is to reason it out in your mind that God or the life principle or the living spirit is the source of the universe, the galaxies in space, and everything you see. Whether you look at the stars in the sky, the mountains, the lakes, the deposits in the earth and the sea, or all animals and plants. The life principle gave birth to you, and all the powers, qualities and attributes of God are within you. Come to a simple conclusion that everything you see and are aware of came out of the invisible mind of the infinite, or the life principle. And that everything that man has invented, created or made came out of the invisible mind of man. And the mind of man and the mind of God are one, for there's only one mind. That mind is common to all individual men. Everyone is an inlet and an outlet to all that is. Come now to a clear-cut decision that God is the source of your supply of energy, vitality, health, creative ideas, the source of the sun, the air you breathe, the apple you eat, and the money in your pocket. For everything is made inside and out of the invisible. It is as easy for God to become wealth in your life as it is to become a blade of grass or a crystal of snow. The second step. Decide now to engrave in your subconscious mind the idea of wealth. Ideas are conveyed to the subconscious by repetition, faith and expectancy. By repeating a thought pattern or an act over and over again, it becomes automatic and your subconscious being compulsive, you will be compelled to express wealth. The pattern is the same as learning to walk, swim, play the piano, type, or drive a car. You must believe in what you're affirming. It's not mumbo-jumbo, it's not idle affirmations. You must believe in what you're affirming like you believe that when you put seeds in the ground, they grow after their kind. And the seeds are thoughts deposited in your own subconscious mind. Realize that what you are affirming is like the apple seeds you deposit in the ground and they grow after their kind. You can imagine the seeds going from your conscious to your subconscious mind and being reproduced on the screen of space. By watering and fertilizing these seeds, you accelerate their growth. Know what you are doing and why you are doing it. You're writing it with your conscious pen in your subconscious mind. Because you know, wealth is walk down the street and you see it. Can you count the flowers along the road as you drive? Can you count the sands on the seashore? Can you count the stars in the sky? Can you count the wealth that you're walking on? Yes, underneath you. Maybe oil, gold, silver, uranium. Do you ever think of the riches of the sea, the soil, the air? So repeat third step is repeat the following affirmation for about five minutes night and morning. I am now writing in my subconscious mind the idea of God's wealth. God is the source of my supply and I, go, and I know God is the life principle within me and I know I'm alive. And all my needs are met at every moment of time and point of space. God's wealth flows freely, joyously and ceaselessly into my experience and I give thanks for God's riches forever circulating in my experience. Step 4. When thoughts of lack come to you, such as, I can't afford that trip, or I can't meet that note in the bank, or I can't pay that bill, never, never finish a negative statement about finances. This is mandatory. Reverse it immediately in your mind by affirming, God is my instant and everlasting supply, and that bill is paid in divine order. If a negative thought comes to you 50 times in one hour, reverse it each time by thinking and affirming, God is my instant supply, meeting that need right now. After a while, the thought of financial lack will lose all momentum, and you will find your subconscious is being conditioned to wealth. If you look at a new car, for example, never say, I can't buy that or I can't afford it. Your subconscious takes you literally and blocks all your good. On the contrary, say to yourself, that car is for sale. It is a divine idea and I accept it 
in divine order through divine love. This is the master key to wealth. It's impossible for any sincere person to practice this technique and not have all the wealth he or she needs all the days of your life. So follow it, and you're setting the law of opulence in operation. It will work for you as well as for anybody else. The law of mind is no respecter of persons. Your thoughts make you wealthy or poor. Choose the riches of life right here and right now. Once you convince your deeper mind that you have the thing you want, it will proceed immediately to bring it to pass. So believe in God's wealth and God's riches, which are all around you, by the way. I live in the joyous expectancy of the best, and invariably the best comes to me. Contemplate promotion, success, achievement, illumination and inspiration and the spirit of the Almighty will move in your behalf compelling you to express fully what you meditate on let go now and permit the infinite riches of the infinite one to open up new doors for you let wonders happen in your life we don't need to work on conditions we need only to work on ourselves the only place we can cure our lack and limitation is in our own mind. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Your subconscious mind accepts your convictions, what you really believe. That the uh, world, your, that is your body, your environment and conditions, will be a mathematical reflection of your inner state of mind. Whatsoever things ye ask for when ye pray, believe that ye have received them and ye shall have them. In your subconscious is all the wisdom and power necessary to solve any problem. Your conscious mind is prone to look at external conditions and tends continually to struggle and to resist. Remember, however, it is the quiet mind that gets things done. Quiet your body periodically. Tell it to be still and relax. It has to obey you. Your body moves as moved upon, your body acts as acted upon. Your body has no self-conscious intelligence, no volition, no will. It moves as moved upon. When your conscious mind is quiet and receptive, the wisdom of your subconscious rises to the surface mind and you receive your solution. Constantly affirm, Feel and believe that God multiplies your good exceedingly and you will be enriched every moment of the day, spiritually, mentally, intellectually, financially, and socially. For there is no end to the glory of man for his daily living. subconscious always magnifies what you give attention to. Watch your thoughts. Never talk about economic lack and limitation. Never talk about being poor or in want. It is very foolish to talk to your neighbors or relatives about hard times, financial problems and like matters. Count your blessings. Begin to think prosperous thoughts. Talk about the divine riches present everywhere. Realize that the feeling of wealth produces wealth. Let these truths sink into your subconscious, and they will, and they are. And you're engraving them. And uh, the more often you do this, well, the quicker you will impregnate your deeper mind. You'll experience a glorious future in a financial way, in every way, too. Watch the wonders that will happen as you impress these truths in your subconscious mind. There is a presence and a power within you, and you can use it, and you can stir up, as Paul says, the gift of God within you. For God is the giver and the gift, and everything has been given to you. 
And therefore, you can go tune in and claim guidance, right action, beauty, love, peace, abundance, security. You can say to yourself, well, God's ideas unfold within me, bring me harmony, health, peace and joy. If you're in business, you're a professional man, you're an artist, you're an inventor, just sit down quietly and say, God reveals to me new creative ideas, original, wonderful ideas, which bless humanity in countless ways. And then watch the wonderful ideas come to you, and they will come. Because when you call, it answers. 